Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I have a special video this week. I made this card today and I thought, oh my goodness, this particular bundle is retiring on Wednesday. So I thought I better make a special video so I can show this to you just in case you haven't gotten it yet. It is a fantastic bundle. I absolutely love it. We've got a greeting on the front that says, open me already. Ta-da! And then we've got this on the inside. This is called a shadow box card. And when you open it up, it makes this little box. Oh, and now the sun chooses to come in my window. Hang tight. Let me get rid of that. Okay, we're gonna have a few little light spots coming through my blinds there, but okay, shadow box. It actually turns into a little box on the inside. Isn't that amazing? Uh, you might have seen this already, but I know that I hadn't done one, so I got out my um, scoring tool and my thinlets and decided to give it a try. And then I thought, oh no, this isn't going to be available after Wednesday. So I'm showing you today. Let's get started. I'll show you how simple this is. So first of all, I'm just going to bring in my cardstock layers here. Just for sample purposes, I am using Watermelon Wonder. That's retiring also on Wednesday, and I don't even know if there's any left. You know how the ink colors go fast, but I'm just using it for a sample. So I've got this layer is 10 and a half inches by five and a half. This one is four by five and a half. This white piece is three and a half by five, and the other white piece is three and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I'm just going to show you the basics on how I made this shadow box portion of the card. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer because we need to do some scoring. We are going to score at a half an inch and remember all the dimensions for this card and pictures of it will be on my blog. So if you go to YouTube underneath my video you will see some information that'll have a link to my blog directly to this particular post so you don't have to go hunting around all over the place. Okay, so I just scored it at a half an inch as I'm yakety yakking away. I just scored it at a half an inch and now I'm going to turn it around and score it at four. I like to go that way to score those little, little um, dimensions. Four, four and a half, and eight. Easy peasy, right? That's just about kind of as hard as it gets. All right, now the reason why I felt so compelled to show you this card on a Tuesday when I usually only do videos on Wednesdays and Fridays is because of this Balloon Adventures bundle. I have had so much fun with this. It is amazing all the little dies that you get with this. I absolutely love this bundle and unfortunately all good things come to an end, don't they? It is retiring on May 31st, which is Wednesday. So you've got a bunch of little um, thinlets here to make all kinds of great things. These balloons, they um, stack on top of the die that's here, our balloon bouquet punch matches. So we've got a whole bunch of elements here that are a lot of fun. And I just wanted to let you know, if you didn't get this bundle yet, it's still available. I really recommend it. It's a great stamp set. There's a lot of things in here. Um, <clears throat> one of my favorites, oh, here we go. I was using it earlier today. Is this, here's to another year full of adventures. You guys know I love big greetings, so here's our big greeting. Just a lot of great stamps in here. So let's get back to our project. I am going to use this big thinlet. And on our card, we've got our half inch score line here. We are going to take this framelit, thinlet, whatever, die. How about I just call it die? I can never keep them straight. A framelit is a frame. A thinlet is a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> How about that? We're going to center it in between that first score line at four inches and that half inch score line. And we're going to run this through the big shot. Let me bring my big shot in here. And I've got my magnetic platform and one cutting plate. 
and I'm just going to center this on here. You have to be careful with this die because it is just as wide as our cutting plates. So you wanna make sure that it's not sticking out the edges and it gets mangled when you run it through. So just be careful of that. Need to be mindful. Whoops, I see that it just got a little bit crooked there. There we go. I got it solid now. And when I use this particular die, I like to run it through and then I like to run it back. And I know that it'll be die cut all the way. Now before I do anything, I look at the back of it to make sure, and yep, it looks perfectly die cut here. So let me move this back out of the way. And then we're going to bring in our Big Shot die brush. If I can see that I am still shaking. If you guys see me shaking, so funny little story. Well, it's not that funny. My husband is, um, he has weight restrictions. He can't lift over 10 pounds. So needless to say, there's a lot of stuff outside that needs to be done. And um, I've been mowing the lawn and doing all that stuff. But today we got out the weed whacker. I, buy, I bow down to those who use a weed whacker. If you've never used a weed whacker, let me tell you, it looks easy, but it is not. And my hands are still shaking from the vibration. I broke a blood vessel in my finger here. My hands feel weak, and I barely even did any of our lawn before the string wouldn't come out anymore. So <laughs> it's just kind of a complete disaster. And... Uh, yeah, he got fed up with the string, so we just quit doing it. But if anybody wants to come over and weed whack my lawn, holy cow. <laughs> that was a treat. That was interesting. Okay, this just pops right off of here. And then I've got my pokey tool. And you want to be extra gentle with these little paper strings because they are pretty delicate. All right. <laughs> This is just about as easy as this gets, you guys. I am. I was shocked when I put it together at how simple it was. I am going to fold on that first half inch score line. I'm gonna give that a good crisp burnish. And I also have this rash, like this welting on my arms too. I don't know what that's all about. I was planting flowers all day yesterday. Maybe I got into something, I'm not sure. But I'm just kind of a mess this weekend, but I got a lot of stuff done. I can't hardly wait to show you what I made today, and I will be rolling those out later this week. Don't forget my used stamp sale is this Saturday. It starts at 9 a.m. If you would like to, if you're local and you'd like to sell anything, um, check out my blog. I've got all the details on there. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. That's what I did. I just folded on all the score lines and burnished it good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Fast Fuse. You want to use something that is super, super sticky. Fast Fuse or let's see, I had some tear tape out here before. Um, tear tape works great. The glue would probably work, but sometimes when you fold stuff like this, I've had it come apart. So I just want to be extra sure that this is not coming apart. I just put some fast fuse down the edge here and we are just going to, oh, hang on, let me take a look at this. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you're gonna open that up. I almost messed it up, you guys. You're gonna open it up and now you're just, this is open, this is open. Now you're just going to fold this shut. I'm telling you, there it is. Isn't that so simple? Now I can see that my score line must be just a little bit off, so I'm going to take my bone folder and force that edge down so that our card will be nice and flat. But there it is, you guys. Super, super easy. Now let me tell you a few things about my card. Um, I used the Silver Glimmer paper and the balloon dies that come in the Balloon Pop-Up Thin Lip Pack to um, die cut these balloons. So I did two striped ones and a polka dot one and put that on my card. I slid the three and a quarter by five and a quarter inch white layer in here that has that speckling on it. And I'll talk about that in a minute in there to add some interest because you can see if you don't put anything inside there to make those balloons like pop, it's just kind of dull, I thought. The other thing that I did 
is I have some black ink here. And let me see if I can find my stamp. This little, all these little stamps are great for the banners that are in here. And you might want to stamp this before, <laughs> before you put it together. But I just inked up this little Let's Celebrate and we'll put that right in there. Perfect. Close this before I drop my card in the ink, right? Um, and that's about it. The layer that's right here, this layer is three and a quarter by five and a quarter. This layer, oh, two of them. You need two of them. Three and a quarter by five and a quarter and three and a quarter by five and a quarter goes right inside here too. And then this front layer is the one that's three and a half by five. And then I put a black layer behind it that is three and five eighths by five and an eighth. And guess what? This is our new lemon lime twist cardstock. Don't you love it? I love it. So there you go, shadow box, super easy. If you don't have these balloon um, adventures bundle, gosh, I just, I really love it. I think it's a great addition to anybody's stash. Now, let me talk about this. This splatter is so cool and I came up with a couple different ideas for it. I am going to show this to you on Wednesday in my, wait, what? Wednesday tip video. So you make sure you stop back for that because I've got some really cool stuff to show you with this technique. There you go, shadow box. Uh, extra video this week for you. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you get a lot of use out of it because it's pretty cool. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above .com. I would be happy to send you the new catalog, which goes live on Thursday, June 1st. So that's pretty exciting. And um, make sure you hop on over to my blog, www.astampabove.com. And check out all the dimensions will be on there because I kind of messed up at the beginning. I don't think I showed you everything. All the dimensions will be on there. So you'll find everything in one place. And don't forget to stamp up your envelope. Isn't this cute? This is for my nephew. He graduates on Wednesday and on Thursday he turns 18. So I kind of wanted a boy themed card and I think this one will work out just fine. So this is gonna be his 18th birthday card. And I'm sure he'll love it as much as he will love the money I'm putting in it, right? Because <laughs> boys don't care about much about cards. But I think he saves all my cards, which makes me feel extra special. Don't forget to click down here on the subscribe button and subscribe to my blog. Also, the technique that I'm going to be showing you on Wednesday, um, this is part of my VIP online club. So I'll put a link in my blog post for you to check that out. My VIP online club members are going to be getting this technique for the month of May. And so I send them the technique on an instruction card and also a card made with the technique. So if you'd be interested in joining my VIP online club, um, just pop me an email and let me know. And I'd be happy to send you all the details for that. It's a lot of fun. You can do it from anywhere in the United States. It's a pretty good deal. You guys have a fabulous day. Enjoy the week and add a little sparkle to someone's day. Send them a card.